afternoon, dear students. Today, your lecture reading uh, associate Professor Ali Valmira, uh, Department of Orthopedic Dentistry. Today, our second lecture, and the theme of our second lecture, it is a dental rose, articulations, and uh, occlusion, and periodontium, and uh, musculus, uh, maxillofacial area. Uh, what is dentition? Uh, now I want to uh, talk uh, about dentition. The type, number and uh, arrangement of teeth or uh, developing and cutting of, your, of new uh, teeth. Uh, today you know and we uh, passed in our um, uh, last semester and we are told uh, about uh, dentition. Today you know about dentition. We have uh, two uh, dentition. It is a maxillary dentition uh, or dental arch and mandibular dental arch. And uh, today you know uh, human beings have two sets of teeth. It is a deciduous set or a milk bite and a permanent set or adult bite. Uh, human dentitions, and uh, now I talk, uh, talk about dentitions, you know our dentition uh, divided uh, on uh, four groups. It is the uh, incisor group, canine group, premolar group, and molar group. On this photo you can look oral cavity, and it is uh, maxilla uh, dental arch and mandibular dental arch uh, for adult, uh, adult uh, person. Uh, you can look uh, at these uh, photos, oral cavity. Today, you know, we divided uh, our face on four uh, parts or four quadrants. And um, uh, one part in our face consists from uh, next uh, teeth. It is a central incisor, lateral incisor, canine, uh, first premolar, uh, second premolar, and uh, first uh, second and third uh, molars. And uh, you can look on this photo, maxilla and uh, mandibula. Dental formula. Uh, we use in our room a uh, FedEye system for writing our medical card uh, and uh, what we are uh, making. We divided our face for uh, four parts and uh, or uh, four quadrants. And if our right side for patient, it is the left side because patient uh, stay uh, front us. And we begin uh, writing. Uh, we divided and begin writing on the middle. Begin on incisor and uh, begin from uh, right side for patient. It is uh, begin 11, uh, 11, 12, 13, and uh, continued before uh, 18. And uh, then we begin uh, writing uh, for uh, left uh, maxilla side, and it is begin from uh, 21, 22, 23, and continued before 28. And then we uh, continued writing our uh, medical card, and it is uh, uh, it is a uh, uh, left uh, mandibular uh, mandibular uh, dental arch, and it is began from 31, 32, 33, and continued before 38. And then we are uh, writing uh, our uh, right mandibular dental arch, and it is uh, began from uh, 40, uh, 41, 42, 43, 40. Uh, uh, for and continued uh, before 38. It is for adult uh, people uh, dental formula, but we use uh, dental formula for uh, child for milk uh, uh, bite. And today, you know, our uh, 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 adult person uh, have 32 uh, teeth, but uh, uh, ch child have uh, 20 uh, milk uh, teeth. And um, we uh, use uh, next uh, further system, and we again begin from uh, right uh, maxilla side, and it is a uh, uh, 51, 52, 53, 53, and before 55, and uh, again uh, continued from uh, left uh, maxilla side, and it is 61, 62, 63, and before 65, and uh, continued uh, from. Uh, значит from uh, mandibula uh, left side and it is uh, eight um, seven one seven two seven three and continued before seven uh, five and uh, continued on the uh, right uh, mandibular side and it is um, uh, 81 82 83 and before 85 uh, it is for a uh, child uh, bite And today, you know, each tooth has a crown and root uh, portion.
Uh, you can look on the, this photo, uh, which part consists of our tooth. Uh, it is the crown. All teeth uh, have uh, all his uh, crown and uh, root and uh, cervical. And uh, you know, today uh, frontal teeth uh, have only uh, one root, but posterior teeth, it is the uh, uh, premolars and molars, uh, have uh, two or uh, three uh, roots. It is depend on which is uh, tooth. As the crown portions is the part covered over with an, uh, enamel and the root is the part covered over with uh, cement. Uh, the crown and root join at cement uh, uh, enamel uh, just, uh, junctions or cer uh, cervical line. Uh, the main part of the tooth uh, is uh, composed of dentin. The pulp, uh, pulp cavity consists of the pulp teeth. Uh, yes, of course, it's uh, the clinical crown. It is the erupted part crown or root of the tooth seen in the mouth. Uh, the anatomical crown is uh, the part of the tooth which is covered with uh, enamel. Uh, the root portions of the tooth may be uh, single with one abscess as uh, found in all entail teeth and some of the premolars uh, or uh, multiple or with uh, uh, bifurcations or atrifurcations divided the uh, root portions in, uh, into two or more uh, roots as found in all molars and some premolars. Uh, you know, uh, second, uh, all uh, molar on the mandibula, uh, it is first and second molar, but some Sometimes uh, third molar it is not uh, uh, have two roots and it is um, uh, bifurcations and uh, molar uh, first and second from maxilla uh, have three uh, roots uh, sometimes and third molar and it is a trifurcation. Uh, the part of the jaw that forms and supports uh, the socket of the teeth and calls the alveol process uh, of the maxilla or uh, the mandibula. Uh, the gingiva is a soft teeth in the mouth uh, which covers the alveol bone and uh, surrounds of the tooth. It is the main part for prosthodontic dentistry because uh, when you um, connect analysis or uh, pay attention to oral cavity, you must uh, pay attention in uh, the gingiva or uh, and periodontum. Uh, you uh, can look at this, this photo, uh, our normal uh, bite, uh, the uh, maxilla dental arch and mandibular dental arch. And now I want to uh, again come back to eruptions because it's information you must know about it and you must uh, repeat when you studying and reading uh, about, uh, reading your book, it is about eruptions uh, for um, adult person. Uh, eruption uh, central incisor and maxima in uh, 7 and 8 years and mandibular central incisor in uh, 6 and 7 years. Uh, lateral incisor from uh, maxilla in uh, 8 and 9 years. Uh, 9 years in uh, mandibular in uh, 7 and 8 years. Uh, canine from maxilla in 11 and 12 years and uh, from mandibular in uh, 9 and 10 years. Uh, first premolar from uh, maxilla, it is the, uh, in uh, 10 and 11 years and uh, from mandibula in 10 and 12 years. Uh, second premolar from maxilla eruptions in uh, 10, uh, 12 years, uh, from mandibula in 11 to 18 years. And uh, first molar from uh, maxilla in 6-7 years, uh, from mandibula in 6-7 and seven years. And um, second molar from uh, mand uh, maxilla in 12-13 uh, years eruptions uh, and from mandibula in 11-13 uh, years. And third molar from uh, maxilla in 18-25 years and um, third, pre uh, for third uh, molar from mandibula in 18-25 uh, years. This information is about eruptions uh, for adult people. You must know about it. Uh, you can look at this photo, elevatus, um, and it is a um, mastis muscles, temporalis, medial pterygoid, joint, uh, depressors, it is a, a lateral pterygoid, joint, uh, milahoid, uh, digastic, uh, genuhoid. Functions, it is a mastication, uh, deglution, uh, pitch, and profile. And you can look on this photo, musculus uh, of mastications, um, it is for your information and uh, we again come back uh, to our last lecture. Uh, 
Uh, now I won't show you a short uh, uh, video. It is video about um, uh, about our process in the live, how we opening and closing and forward our mandibular and how we uh, working our temporomandibular joint. My name is Faris and this is Animated Anatomy. In this video I will talk about the muscles of mastication. There's not much to make the introduction about, so let's just start with it. There are four classical muscles of mastication. Three of these do the adduction, while only one does the abduction. The first muscle that I'll talk about is the temporalis muscle. The temporalis muscle arises from the temporal fossa and on the other side I removed other muscles so we can see it better. It passes medial to the zygomatic arch and forms a tendon which inserts onto the coronoid process of the mandible. This is the strongest mastication muscle and it can be divided into two functional parts the anterior one and the posterior one. The anterior part elevates the mandible and the contraction of the posterior part results in the retrusion of the mandible. Here you can see the blood supply of the muscle and this is aorta while this is common carotid artery which later gives off the external carotid artery. Up there you have the maxillary artery and finally arteries that give blood to the muscle, the deep temporal arteries. Here we can zoom in a little bit to see it from the closer perspective. Now if we look at the trigeminal nerve over here, we can see that it gives off a branch and that is the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve. And that's the branch that innervates the temporalis muscle. The second muscle of mastication that I want to talk about is this over here. This is the masseter muscle. The masseter does the elevation just like the temporalis muscle. But additionally to that, it also does the protraction of the mandible. This muscle is also innervated by the mandibular nerve and it gets the blood from the axillary artery which comes from the external carotid artery. The next muscle that gets its blood from the maxillary artery is this muscle over here and that is also the muscle of mastication, the medial pterygoid. It is innervated by the mandibular nerve and the muscle has a minor contribution to the protrusion of the mandible and it also elevates the mandible. If you remove this muscle, we can see the fourth muscle of the mastication and that is this muscle here with two heads, the lateral pterygoid muscle. Because of a specific location of its origin and its insertion, this muscle is the only muscle of mastication that assists the depression of mandible. This here is the superior head of the lateral pterygoid. The superior head originates on the infratemporal surface and infratemporal crest of the greater wing of the sphenoid bone. The inferior head originates on the lateral surface of the lateral pterygoid plate of the sphenoid bone. But these four muscles are not the only four muscles that help you chew the food. If I remove some of these muscles here, you will be able to see this one over here and that is the buccinator muscle. The buccinator muscle, if you look at it from the anterior point of view, is basically making the cheek inner surface touch the teeth. And that way the buccinator pushes the food between the teeth so it can be chewed. So now we know a lot about muscles of mastication. In my next video I will talk about the eye anatomy and you can watch that video here. You can also watch my previous video 
Here, if you like my lessons and want to purchase my software, you can go to my website animatedanatomy.com. If you don't want to purchase it, then at least you can subscribe here for new free content that I release regularly on my channel. Thank you. And this uh, video, in these photos, you can look uh, again temporomodular ligaments and which uh, part, uh, the main part, consists our temporomodular joint. Uh, bio, uh, biomechanics of the temporomodular joint, uh, normal movements of the condyla and disc uh, during mouth opening. As the condyla moves out of the fossa, uh, the disc rotates uh, posteriorly on the condyla around the attachment of the uh, distal uh, collateral ligament. Uh, rotations, movements of use uh, uh, um, predominantly in the low uh, joint space, um, whereas uh, transitions uh, uh, occur uh, predominantly in the superior joint space. Uh, it is normal movement, you can look at the, these photos. Mandibula. Uh, to meet function, uh, mandibula is uh, decision as a strong uh, central bar, like the shaft of long bone, uh, running forward in the uh, continuous curve from condyla to condyl. Uh, reinforced uh, reinforced uh, in the uh, midline uh, synthesis by the uh, building chain. Uh, building uh, chin, uh, which uh, resists uh, the uh, squeezing actions of lateral pterygoid joints at the uh, condylar ends. Uh, senile joy, uh, joint loss of uh, these alveolar uh, processes uh, disappears. Uh, masticative functions is uh, severely reduced. Uh, extensive uh, resor resorptions of mandibular in, in sections. Uh, coronided and angular um, platys uh, recede and little but the central bar of bone remains. Uh, Trajectories uh, tra uh, of force, uh, uh, the bony trajectories uh, transmit and uh, dispense the force of uh, mastication towards uh, the condylis from the body, uh, thus uh, preventing uh, injury for middle cranial force. Uh, Benning, uh, Benningkov uh, stated uh, that the stress uh, trajectories or uh, lines of orientations of body uh, trabecular uh, involve not only the uh, cancellous uh, bone but also the uh, compact bone. Uh, mi uh, minor trajectories effects uh, of muscle attachments. Uh, major trajectories uh, uh, trabecular uh, columns. Uh, originate from uh, benes the teeth in the alveolar processes and join together into a common stress uh, pillar or measure uh, trajectory uh, 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 system. And areas of uh, weakness, um, weakness, it is the junctions of alveolar bone and uh, basal bone, symphysis, uh, parasymphysis, angel, uh, presence of uh, impacted teeth, neck of uh, condyle. Uh, musculus link. Edge and condylar neck are not uh, entirely uh, protected by sling. Uh, bony uh, trabecular uh, creates uh, rich uh, lines. Uh, you can look on this uh, photo uh, vertically uh, unfable uh, fracture and horizontally unfable uh, fracture. Uh, you can look on this photo, champion's line of ideal osteosthesis. Champion, uh, monocortical uh, tension, uh, bending osteosynthesis, uh, ne uh, neutralizes uh, distractions and uh, torsion uh, during uh, physiologic uh, stress, uh, while normal uh, basilar uh, compression in uh, restorate. Uh, pediatric fracture uh, common uh, 39 uh, percent uh, young bone uh, processes unique uh, physical uh, pro, uh, proper, uh, properties that uh, couplet uh, with space uh, 
occupant uh, development uh, dentition give rise uh, to patients of fracture not seen in adults. Uh, majority of the uh, fractures in children are uh, undisplayed uh, because of the elasticity, elast uh, elasticity uh, or mandibular and uh, embedded uh, tooth uh, but, but hold uh, the fragments uh, together. Uh, green stick uh, fracture. Uh, you can look on the, this photo, the musculosofacial expression. Uh, Bukinator, Bukinator uh, muscles of check, uh, quadra, uh, quadrilateral uh, between maxilla and mandibula, and it is a three parts upper fibers, uh, middle fibers, lower fibers, posterior part, anterior part. And you can uh, look on the, this photo uh, when we have a problem with facial nerve. Uh, it is a mandible of movements. Uh, you can look on the, these photos. Again, you uh, come back uh, and we can look on the, these photo mandibular movements are complex and uh, how we opening and uh, closing our uh, jaw and uh, you can look the main part, the temporal mandibular uh, joint. Uh, the methods of studying mandibular movements, uh, direct uh, clinical observations, uh, sophisti uh, sophisticated uh, electronic instruments, it is a fast cell clinometers, uh, um, Rengen uh, fluoroscopy, uh, radionucleotide uh, uh, tracking, uh, optical uh, pantography, uh, Gantic uh, replicator and another. Uh, significance of uh, understanding uh, mandibular movements, uh, developing tools for uh, forms for dental restorations, uh, understanding occlusion, uh, arranging uh, artificial, artificial teeth, uh, treating temporal mandibular uh, joint, uh, uh, distribution, uh, pressing uh, periodontal health, and the uh, decisionic uh, selections and adjustment of uh, articulators. Factors which uh, regulate jaw motion, the, the neuromuscular role, uh, contacts of uh, opposing teeth, anatomy and physiology of temporal mandibular joints, uh, the actions of muscles, uh, ligaments. Uh, neuromuscular role. Uh, mastications is a programmed event uh, residing in the chewing center located uh, within the brain stem, probably in articulate uh, formations of uh, bones. Uh, uh, the cerebral uh, ensures, uh, ensures uh, as uh, coordinated uh, response from muscles during mandibular movements uh, by acting as uh, feedback, feedback uh, control mechanism. Uh, Lots of uh, proprioceptors uh, pro uh, uh, locate uh, principally in periodontal ligaments, element is uh, an important source of control uh, in positions of mandibular for the adontalous patients. Influence of opposition tooth contacts. Opposition tooth surface contacts are related to occlusal surface of teeth, uh, musculus, uh, temporal mandibular joints, and neurophysiological uh, components. Influence of the uh, temporal mandibular joints. Mandibular movements expect opening and closing movements at the terminal uh, hind posi uh, hinge positions are combinations of rotations and uh, translation. Uh, translation. Rotation, uh, the movement of a uh, rigid body in which the parts move at uh, circular parts with uh, their centers on a fixed line called the axis of uh, rotations. The plane of the circle in which uh, the body moves in uh, perpendicular uh, to the axis of rotations. Translations, uh, the motions of body at any instant when all points uh, within uh, the body are moving at the same velocity and the uh, same uh, direction. Uh, yes, of, uh, yes, of course, it is, uh, again, double modular uh, joint rotations uh, in the lower uh, compartment, uh, compartment of temporal mandibular joint as uh, the translator for gliding movements in this upper uh, compartment. A complex joint, uh, gingival amor uh, the radial joint, uh, temporal mandibular joint consists of uh, four main structures, uh, condyl, temporal mandibular bronze, squamous part, articular disc ligaments. Uh, the temporal mandibular joint articulation uh, part of temporal mandibular joint uh, includes a co convex head of mandibular uh, condyle at the uh, convex, uh, uh, convex uh, uh, concave part of the temporal bone, uh, mandibular fossa and articular tubercle. Um, 
and intra uh, intra Circular disc made of fibrous tissue uh, divided John cavity into upper and lower uh, components. Uh, you can look on this photo articular disc, sagittal plant, and anterior VF. Uh, ligaments of temporal mandibular joint, fibrous capsule, lateral temporal mandibular ligament, uh, and two accessory li uh, ligament and uh, sphenomandibular and the stylomandibular ligaments. Accessory uh, ligaments, uh, still mandibular ligaments, limits uh, excessive uh, protrusive uh, movement uh, of uh, mandibular. Uh, muscle involvement in uh, jaw motions. So you can look on these photos, so which uh, muscles uh, uh, make these uh, functions. So you can look on this photo. Uh, role of musculus, uh, there are four main muscles of mastication, so masseter, temporalis, and the medial and lateral uh, pterygoids. All these expect uh, the lateral pterygoids act uh, as elevators. Masseta uh, functions uh, elevation, uh, superficial portion, protrusion, uh, deep portion, stabilizations again in circular eminence. Temporalis, it is a uh, significant, uh, significant uh, positioning uh, muscle of the mandibula. It has three types of fibers, uh, antail fibers or vertical, uh, uh, middle fibers uh, run uh, obliquely, uh, obliquely, uh, obliquely. Uh, posterior fibers consist of fibers that all uh, originate almost horizontally. Uh, medial pterygoid uh, function uh, elevation and protrusion, uh, unilateral uh, contractions, uh, medial drives, uh, medial torusive uh, movement. Uh, you can look on this photo, lateral pterygoid, uh, superior head of lateral pterygoid uh, muscles and inferior uh, head of uh, lateral pterygoid. You must know about uh, muscles what? Uh, must uh, all um, named in Latin language and uh, the main you must, uh, what you must about the muscles, it is all uh, his uh, function, functions. Uh, function uh, uh, anterior lateral pterygoid, uh, simul, uh, simultaneous uh, contation, uh, depression and protrusion, uh, unilateral contractions, uh, medial trusion, uh, movement, medial, uh, medial tr uh, thrust and movement uh, to opposite side. Superior lateral pterygoid uh, during opening uh, remains uh, inactive, uh, becomes active only in conjunction with the elevator muscles, active during uh, power stroke and when these uh, held together. Uh, the rachioid, the suprachioid muscles, uh, this uh, depress, uh, this depress uh, the mandibula if uh, the hoid bone remains fixed. Uh, this help uh, when uh, this help the um, mouth is open it wide or against uh, resistance. Uh, movements, uh, protrusion, uh, protrusion functions uh, make uh, the lateral uh, pterygoid assisted by medial pterygoid, uh, retraction to the posterior fibers of temporalis, uh, the part of masses, uh, masseta and uh, gynohoid and uh, the gastric elevations uh, functions it is temporalis and uh, masseta, medial pterygoid and depressions, it is uh, gravity, the gastric, gynohoid and milohoid muscles. Uh, opening and closing, lateral pterygoid is the main muscle responsible for opening. Opening for mouth is limited by the superlamina of the articular disc. Uh, protrusions and retractions. Uh, protrusions uh, is uh, brought about uh, by uh, simulator uh, nails, uh, contractions of the lateral and medial pterygoids of both sides. Uh, while retractions is mainly due to contractions of the posterior horizontal fibers of temporalis muscles. Uh, you can look chaving uh, functions uh, or side-to-side uh, uh, side -side movements uh, occur due to alternate uh, contractions of muscles of both uh, sides. You can lose uh, from uh, light and from uh, left, uh, left and right uh, movement. Certain basis jaw motion. Mm, you can look and this is photos. Uh, mandibular rotations uh, in opening and closing and lateral movements. Uh, you can look on this, this photo which uh, musculus it is a condyl, uh, condylar pass uh, in, scissor, in scissor point. Uh, axis of mandibular rotations. Uh, rotation of your around three axis trans, uh, transverse, vertical, and sagittal uh, that move uh, constantly during normal jaw function. 
uh, movement about the horizontal axis as seen in uh, hinge axis of uh, the movement occur around, uh, occurs around the vertical axis during a lateral excursion. Uh, the mandible also rotates around the sagittal axis when one side uh, drops down during a lateral excursion. Uh, basic jaw positions. Uh, the center conclusions, it is a different uh, as maximum uh, enter. Uh, because uh, patients of these uh, center relations, uh, the most posterior relations of the upper to the lower jaw, or which lateral movements can be made uh, at a given uh, vertical uh, dimension. Uh, centric relations, uh, the maximum mandibular relationship uh, in which the condylis articulate with the uh, sinus uh, vascular uh, portions of the respective disc or which the complex uh, in the anterior superior positions again is the slopes of articular eminence uh, which uh, positions uh, is independent uh, of tooth uh, contact. Uh, this position is clinically uh, discernable um, uh, disc uh, uh, when the mandibular is uh, directed uh, superiorly, uh, superiorly and anteriorly. Uh, basic jaw position centric uh, relations uh, in, uh, is used to transfer positions uh, of mandibula in relations uh, to maxilla to an articulator. The centric occlusion is a tooth uh, determined position, uh, whereas uh, the centric uh, relations is a jaw to jaw relations determined uh, by the condylis in the fossa. Uh, terminal uh, hinge uh, axis, where the condylar side is the most superior positions in the articular fossa and the mouth of, uh, is uh, uh, parallel rotated open, uh, the axis around which movements occur is called the terminal hinge axis. Uh, condylar uh, gu uh, guidance, uh, mandibular uh, guidance, uh, guidance uh, generated uh, by the condyl and, uh, and Articular disc uh, traversing the uh, contour of the uh, uh, glenoid fossa. Uh, into the uh, guidance, uh, the influence of the uh, contacting surface of the mandibular and maxillary anterioritis uh, during mandibular movements. Uh, retrude, uh, retruded contact positions, uh, guided occlusal uh, relationship uh, occurring at the most uh, retruded uh, positions of the condylis in the joint cup. Mandibular movements, mandibular performs uh, habitual and border movements, opening and closing movements, uh, protrusive and lateral movements, and stopping positions along these movements, uh, centric occlusion, centric relations, uh, protrusive border positions, uh, right the left lateral border positions, and uh, rest position. The clinical understanding of mandibular movements, uh, parallelogram of forces, factor of muscular pull related to uh, position of mandibular after loss of teeth. Directions uh, of force uh, is affected uh, by occlusal vertical uh, dimensions, uh, mainly to parallelograms. Uh, in a dentulous, occlusal plane is made parallel to other uh, tracks line. The envelope of uh, motions uh, def uh, defining in the limits of possible uh, mandibular motions and cer uh, certain, uh, certain mandibular uh, fence positions. Uh, record them made in sagittal and frontal plans. You can look on the, this for uh, sagittal plan border and uh, function movements, uh, posterior opening border, anterior opening border, superior contact border, functional. Uh, posterior opening border movements, uh, first stage it is a condylis, terminal hinge posterior, pure rotation movement, uh, and uh, second stage it is the axis for, for rotation, uh, shifts uh, to bodies of rami. Uh, first stage opening range uh, 25, uh, 25 millimeters, uh, the movements are the only uh, repeatable, uh, repeatable uh, hinge axis movement of mandibular, uh, second stage condylis anteriorly and uh, inferiorly, mandibular posteriorly and inferiorly, maximum, uh, maximum uh, opening uh, 13, 16. Until opening border movements are uh, generated when uh, close uh, uh, accompanied by uh, contractions of inferior lateral pterygoid, joint, not a poor hinge movement due to eccentricity. Uh, superior contact border movements uh, through, uh, through this entire border movements uh, tooth contact and present it depends on amount, uh, amount, uh, amount of uh, variation between center relations and maximum inter uh, uh, the steepness of the ca capsule inclines of the posterior teeth 
element of vertical and coincidental overlap of anterior teeth, lingual uh, morphology of maxillary, anterior teeth, uh, genial interarch relationships of the teeth. Envelope of the motions of the frontal plane, uh, centric occlusion, uh, point of maximum opening of the uh, jaws, uh, rest, uh, postural rest uh, position. Uh, left lateral superior movement, you can look on the, these photos. And left lateral opening movement, uh, right lateral superior border movement, uh, right lateral opening border movement. Uh, maximum movements opening uh, 50 16 mm, lateral uh, 10 to 12 mm, uh, protrusive uh, 8 to 11 mm, and uh, retrusive range is about 1 mm. Uh, functional movements uh, okay, do, uh, occur during functional activity of mandibular. Free movements take place with, uh, with the border mo uh, movements uh, occur uh, chiefly around centric. Uh, functional movements uh, during chaming, the mandibular drops directly inferiorly until the uh, decided opening and uh, achieved. Uh, it then uh, shifts to the side on or which balls uh, is pla uh, placed and uh, rises up. As it approach, uh, approaches uh, maximum intercuspations, uh, balls is broken between the opposing. In the final close, uh, closer, uh, the mandible quickly shifts back in intercapsule position. Effect of posture. Uh, the gadicach or arrow point reaching, uh, it is the graphic uh, registration of lateral border movements of horizontal plane, which results in uh, angular tracting. The direction of lateral movements is actively de de uh, determined uh, by the lateral trajoid muscle on non-working non side and uh, by the uh, deep uh, capsule gamins of condylo on work side. Uh, working and non-working side, the side toward which the uh, mandible move, uh, moves in a lateral ex uh, exclusions is called working side. You can look on the, this water and uh, the non-working side uh, is the side of uh, mandible with movements toward uh, median line in a lateral excursion. Again, you can look uh, our um, uh, bo uh, our uh, movement uh, mandible in the next uh, vortex. Uh, right lateral border movements, uh, condylus um, in uh, condylus, uh, contractions of left uh, inferior lateral trajoid, left condyla moves uh, anteriorly, medially, and inferiorly. Uh, continued right lateral movement with protrusions, uh, contractions of uh, lateral trajoid, and uh, continued contractions left anterior of trajoid, right condylus movements anteriorly and left. Mandibular uh, midline. Uh, Coin uh, see this uh, with uh, midline of face. Uh, Bennett shift uh, described by Dr. Norman Bennett in uh, 1908. It is a directal side shift that occurs uh, simul uh, simultaneously uh, with a lateral excursion. Uh, the primary cause is the uh, contractions of lateral trajoid muscle because it is orange, is located medially to its uh, insertion. Uh, when mandibular shift on the sides, it is movement occurred to uh, segments uh, and immediate side shift in which uh, the major directions of movements uh, medio, uh, medio lateral and uh, a progressive side shift uh, which began uh, there after and continues with uh, the major directions of movements being anterior. Uh, physiological exposition stabilized by muscles and uh, gravity in actively determined. It. it is the range of uh, posture, usually to, to 4 mm below maximum intercuspation uh, positions, but can be up to 10 mm. Remains uh, relative, uh, st stable for uh, reasonable, reasonable uh, periods of time. Affected by short and long term in the oral and general health uh, factors and by positions of head. Uh, conclusions. Uh, knowledge of jaw movements is essential for uh, successful treatment of patients. It is an uh, imperative uh, to learn as much possible about jaw movement in order to uh, reproduce uh, those aspects, uh, uh, choose aspects uh, of these motions uh, considered the necessary for proper functioning of the occlusions as a natural of artificial. Uh, now I talk, uh, want to talk uh, about uh, uh, about our next uh, part, uh, it is occlusion. 
occlusion what's that the occlusion it is the contact uh, relationship of the upper and lower teeth during cavities activities of the mandibular uh, mastication swallowing and uh, speech uh, authentic occlusion the relations of the upper and lower teeth uh, when they are uh, in maximum inter uh, cuspation, uh, cusp uh, cuspation during swallowing and the terminal positions of the masticatory stroke you can look on the, these photos so uh, what is uh, central uh, what is the uh, central occlusion uh, now i want to uh, show you a um, um, short uh, video about occlusion relation it is a position of the uh, mandible of which the uh, candilas are resting in the most uh, retrusive uh, in strained positions in the uh, genoid uh, fossa and related anteriorly or to the distal slope of the articular uh, eminence uh, why we study the occlusions? Uh, the study of occlusions helps in the treat uh, of uh, malocclusions, uh, temporomandibular joint problems, in proper constructions of denture, uh, dentures and other dental restorations. Uh, to study the occlusions, it must be included of following uh, the following uh, uh, items: dental arch formations, uh, compensated curves of dental arches, uh, compensated curves of individual teeth, angulations uh, of individual teeth uh, in relation uh, relations uh, to various plans, functional form to the teeth uh, at the inc uh, incisal and occlusal uh, thirds, uh, facial relations of arched uh, arch tooth. Uh, in one arch uh, to its uh, antagon antagonist uh, in centric occlusion. Occlusions contact and intercuspations uh, of all teeth 
for one arch which uh, just in the opposing arch in centric occlusion. Occlusal contact and interactions uh, of the teeth during various uh, functional movements. Uh, dental arch formations. Outline of the maxillar arch is longer than mandibular arch, so maxillar teeth overhand, uh, the mandible teeth uh, than the teeth are in the tentacle occlusions, payments over bite and over jet relationship. Over bite, vertical relations of the upper teeth to the uh, lower teeth in tentacle occlusions, uh, over jet horizontal relations of the upper teeth of the lower teeth in tentacle occlusions. Importance, uh, prevalence of teeth uh, biting uh, due to mandibular through so, uh, various lateral movement. Uh, over and uh, overbite enables the uh, disclusions of the posterity during food uh, in season and incision in season uh, and increase the effectiveness of the anterior teeth uh, in biting well. Overjet increases uh, durations of occlusal contact in protrusive and lateral movements in incising and uh, mastication. Uh, from, uh, from occlusal aspect, the old line falling, uh, labial and lingual surface uh, conf uh, confirmed to a para uh, paralabic uh, curve. Uh, the dental arches have three segments. Uh, first segment it is anterior segments, semicular line passing along facial surface of anterior teeth. Second, it is the middle segment, a straight line uh, continuous with uh, semicircular uh, semi segment, include uh, first, second, and uh, M half of uh, first molar. Uh, third um, uh, posterior segment, a straight line which is parallel to the median plan, a, a, um, plan M and gliding, uh, distal half of first molar, uh, B of uh, second and third molars. Uh, phases of development of dental arches. Uh, six, so we have six phases. The first phase is uh, six years. Uh, first pre, uh, first uh, molar, permanent molar, take place uh, posterior to second uh, deciduous molar due to jaw growth, uh, growth uh, lead to uh, first increased shaving effects, uh, second safe to back to the uh, deciduous teeth, uh, modular one erupt first landmarks, uh, one to establish its occlusion, and first uh, permanent molar, uh, cornerstone, and uh, second fast central and lateral uh, lingual to the deciduous uh, uh, predecessors. Uh, pre, um, predecessors. Uh, third uh, phase, uh, it is first and second premolar take place of uh, deciduous molar, uh, primate space. The size of premolar is smaller than the large teeth they replace. Uh, third uh, first, uh, phase, the canines and second molars image, uh, the forcing of the canine bed. In scissors and first premolars in both jaw with uh, biking effect of uh, second premolar. And, uh, Five uh, fast, uh, third molar distal to the second molar. Uh, leeway space. Uh, the wrapping premolars are smaller in mesial distal uh, dimension, uh, dimension uh, than the primary molars. Uh, difference in sizes between the premolars and primary molars as well as the deciduous uh, canines. Uh, uh, the average uh, mesodistal size of the deciduous molars in that area in uh, 38, uh, 37 millimeters, which uh, when compared uh, with the premolars uh, dimensions of uh, 32.2 millimeters in decade of uh, average gain of uh, 4.8 millimeters in available space. The leeway space uh, must be utilized uh, for a ligament uh, of the lower incisors as uh, this is erupt with an average of uh, 1.6 millimeters of crowding. Uh, the remainder of the uh, space with, uh, will be utilized by the mandibular molar. Uh, this movement of the mandibular molars may uh, correct and end to end molar relationships uh, in the normal molar relationships in the permanent dentitions. Uh, the mesolingual caps of the maxillary first molar occluded in the central fossa of the mandibular molars. This relationship is uh, discussed uh, later on.
Uh, second compensate uh, curvatus of the uh, dental arches, uh, they see uh, significant of the discus of S. gluidens uh, for mandibular uh, movement uh, to complement uh, the condylar uh, pants and uh, for balance of mandibular. Uh, curve of spear, uh, sagittal plants, uh, incisal ridges of the anterior teeth and the uh, B caps uh, of the posterior teeth follow a curve, uh, surf, uh, which and uh, the anterior curve surface of the condyla. Uh, when the arches uh, were observed from a point uh, opposite um, 6. The curve of Wilson, uh, coronal plan, uh, the crucial surface of posterior teeth uh, conform to the uh, curved plan. Uh, the crowns of mandibular posterior teeth must incline into the lingual while uh, the crowns of maxillary posterior teeth must incline towards the buccal. Uh, deeper posterior uh, molar in, uh, inclination is greater than uh, that of the premolar. Uh, turf of Monson, uh, of Monson uh, combinations of uh, turf of spear and, and the curve of Wilson. Uh, coronal and sagittal plants uh, concave for a mandibular edge convex for the maxillary arch uh, in center conclusion form a segment of a uh, sphere of uh, 4 inches uh, radius with a center of the sphere and the glabella. Uh, bone and uh, triangle uh, uh, describes the mandibular and found that the mandibular dental arch adapts uh, itself uh, to an uh, equilateral uh, triangle of the uh, of four inches uh, length. Uh, apex at the mesial contactor of the lower central incisor, angles of the base uh, at the centers of arch uh, contactor. Importance of uh, compensatory uh, curves, uh, guidance for the mandibular movement uh, to complain to the path of condylis for balance of the mandible. Uh, compensating uh, curva, uh, curva, uh, curva, uh, curvature of the individual teeth. When observed the uh, dissected uh, human jaw with the uh, roots, Exposed uh, proves that the long axis of posterior teeth are, hot, uh, are not uh, perpendicular to a horizontal plane, but show axial uh, uh, curvature. Uh, this uh, curvature is essential uh, for stability of teeth in the dental arches uh, to these uh, forces. Uh, the maxillary second and third molars have distal uh, inclinations uh, to prevent any distal drift of posterior teeth, uh, while mandibular uh, second and third molar are inclined uh, measly uh, to strike the maxillary molars with a measle directions of uh, four. Angulations of individual teeth uh, in relations of various plants. Uh, the inclinations of a tooth from a vertical axis in uh, mesial distal and uh, facial lingual uh, directions, uh, first up and tail, um, and uh, inclined lingual uh, M MD, MD uh, second and uh, one and second inclined and uh, uh, slicey uh, mesial but canine toward distal. Inclination of the tooth from uh, a vertical axis uh, and uh, a media and fell directions. Uh, important proper crucial functions. Uh, arch tooth must be placed at the end of the best uh, withstand for the during function. Maxillary premolars are slight lingual and fell distal in MD. Uh, Field maxillary molars roots have lingual inclinations with distal inclinations. Uh, Modular tail have great lingual root in uh, clinate in FL and MD incisor are um, nearly straight of uh, orbital root inclinations, while canine has distal root inclinations. Uh, Modular premolars in uh, MD have distal inclinations, but in uh, FL first premolar incline uh, linguale, linguale uh, but second premolars is offset buccale and. Uh, uh, six uh, mandibular molars moderate to great buccal and distal root angulation. Uh, you can look for the wave of the angulations of mandibular arch and single root uh, teeth and see the canine premolars and lower molars, mesial root, distal root.
And uh, again, frontal wave of the angulations of the maxillary teeth. It is a single ho ho hooded teeth, incisic and anthemolars, first molars, buccal hoods, palatal uh, hoods, upper molars, mesobuccal hoods, distobuccal hoods, palatal hoods. Uh, Sagittal wave of the angulations in maxillary and mandibular teeth. You can look a single root, uh, rooted teeth, incisive, uh, caspids, uh, bookies, uh, bookies uh, and uh, upper molars, mesobuccal roots, distal buccal roots, palatal uh, roots. Uh, Funcional form of the teeth uh, at the incisal and occlusal surface. They are not flat plants of the incisal or occlusal surface of any of the teeth uh, unless they are created by wear or accident. The cups and incisal reach acts uh, as cutting, uh, cutting uh, blades uh, when they are came uh, to contact in centric occlusion. The concave surface opposing, opposing uh, the ridges of uh, circle. Uh, circumscribed uh, points or areas and space uh, appear all around this point, uh, which acts as uh, spillways or escapement uh, space. So this escapement space uh, is uh, provided in the teeth by a form of cups, ridges, uh, DG and ice. Uh, the locations and forms the experiment uh, are, are changed when the occlusal relations is changed. Uh, in sending occlusion, which uh, less experiment, experiment uh, space available but a lateral relation, the experiment uh, in, in, um, in uh, increased, uh, but the number of contact points is uh, decreased. The relations of arch tooth in one arch in the uh, antagonist in the opposing arch in a centric occlusion. Uh, you can look again uh, out of the joint and uh, which part consists out of the uh, joint. Uh, first permanent maxillary uh, molar followed by mandibular uh, one R uh, a K of occlusion Y. Uh, first two permanent uh, erupted in oral cavity larger cisental arch, uh, gluted by disposable uh, positions as the deciduous teeth uh, have uh, no predecessors, uh, predecessors, uh, uh, predecessors uh, maxillary one more accurate than mandibular because uh, it uh, attached uh, to fix it uh, in bars of skull. In normal jaw relation and uh, when teeth are of normal size and the correct positions, uh, the mesobuccal caps in the maxillary first molar, occlusion in the mesobuccal growth of the mandibular first molar. This normal uh, relationship of these two teeth is called the K of occlusion. You can look on this is for the K of occlusion. Um, uh, angel classifications, uh, it is a classification uh, divided on three class. Uh, first class, uh, when uh, patient uh, profile is uh, characterized is normal. Second class uh, and uh, pro patient profile is uh, defined as chin, length and uh, characterized as a retruded uh, profile. And third class, uh, when the uh, third uh, patient uh, profile is uh, excessive in chin, length and characterized is uh, protruded uh, profile. Uh, again, you can look on this photo, uh, angel classifications, first class, second and third class, you can look on these photos and uh, normal occlusions, uh, class, second, mal occlusions, and second, uh, third classes, mal occlusion. And regulations of the teeth in the center occlusions, uh, you can look on the, this photo, spermum and tooth, the median plane is uh, condescent in the two jaws, upper tooth has labial relations to lower incisor in center, incisor ridges of free of contact and has labial relations of labial incisor portions of lower center incisor. Uh, cingulum above the lingual embryons of uh, first and second low incisors, mesial outline is in line with the mesial outline. Uh, of flower lateral scissors, the distal outline is uh, centered. Uh, centered. Uh, first, uh, a lingual relationship of each tooth in one arch to east uh, antagonist in the uh, opposing, uh, opposing arch in uh, centric occlusions. In centric occlusions, each uh, tooth occlu occluded uh, with two teeth in the opposing arch. Expect the mandibular central scissors and the maxillary third molars. Importance, um, uh, prevent uh, the over-eruption of the teeth of the opposing arch, uh, prevent uh, the mesial uh, migrations of uh, the teeth in this same arch, uh, distribute occlusal force to several teeth. 
uh, to cell engagement and occlusions normal in interage, interage uh, relationships, uh, control relationships, occlusal contacts of posterior teeth. Uh, to cell engagement uh, and occlusion normal drainage uh, relationship, uh, you can look uh, um, contact uh, measured, uh, between uh, molars on these photos. Uh, normal uh, iterage uh, relationships, it is contact relationships, uh, uh, major distal occlusion contacts result from function cups uh, containing with uh, the opposing uh, line uh, contacts will occur, uh, central fossa, and uh, comfortable uh, to um, uh, comparable uh, to MLR and uh, Pestle. And uh, summary uh, statements, uh, mesolingual cups of teach uh, maximal occlusions in the central force of the opposing mandibular uh, molar and mesobucal cups of teeth mandibular molar occlusions on the mesial marginal edge. It is a normal uh, contact in uh, class first occlusion. Uh, now you can look on this is for the facilitations of the upper and lower teeth in centric occlusions. Uh, lingual relations of the upper and lower teeth in centric occlusion. Uh, first relations of the upper and lower teeth of centric occlusion. Uh, lingual relations of the upper and lower teeth uh, in centric occlusion. Centric occlusion relations of the uh, deciduous teeth uh, at the uh, at age three as the child has centric occlusion similar to permanent teeth. Uh, centric occlusion relations of the deciduous teeth at the age three as the child has centric occlusion similar to permanent teeth. Uh, two uh, contacts uh, during mandibular movements and um, contact relationships protrusions. Uh, 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 potential uh, posterior contacts in a uh, protrusive movement are the mesial inclines of mandibular teeth and distal cleases of the maxillary teeth. These uh, uh, contacts are undisable under, and are called uh, protrusive interference. Uh, uh, Contained during mandibular movements, uh, contact relationships, uh, lateral trusive uh, mandibular movements, uh, dis uh, desirable uh, contacts in the left uh, lateral, uh, lateral trusive movement are maxillary buccal cups in contact with mandibular buccal cups. Uh, contact during mandibular movements, uh, later, uh, later intrusive uh, mandibular movements, are the contacts that may occur in client, uh, working site, interference, uh, out inclines of maxillingual cups, in inclines of mandibular lingual cups, non working, uh, it is the inner inclines of maxillingual cups, in inclines of mandibular buccal cups. Uh, the occlusion contacts the intercaps relations of uh, all the teeth during the various uh, functional mandibular movements, mandibular movements, uh, uh, symmetrical uh, bilateral movements, uh, depression, elevations, protrusion, uh, reductions, and asymmetrical uh, bilateral movements, it is the right lateral movements, uh, left lateral movements. And uh, you can uh, look on these waters, uh, rotations, opening, and uh, closing, and translation uh, function. Uh, the occlusal contact and intercaps relations of the teeth during the various uh, functional mandibular movement. Uh, the mandibular movement are symmetrical uh, bilateral movement, depressions, elevations, protrusions, uh, reductions, asymmetrical uh, bilateral movement, right lateral movement, left lateral movement. Uh, rest positions of the uh, mandibular, uh, when the mandibular is at rest, lower teeth are not uh, in contact with uh, the upper teeth, as this is uh, a spire of 2 mm in between the two arches, freeway space, uh, not functional relations. Functional relations of mandibular movement, uh, protrusive occlusal relations, uh, retrusive occlusal relations, uh, right occlusal relations, left occlusal relations. Uh, Protrusive occlusal relations, the mandibular arch beach uh, uh, bears uh, a forward anterior relations to centric relations with the maxillary arch, biting of uh, sharing foot material. Uh, Retrusive occlusal relations, retrusions uh, of the mandibular, the mandibular uh, teeth will have posterior relations to centric occlusions with the maxillary arch, very limited and non uh, functional movement. Uh, right and left lateral occlusion relations. The mandibular dental arch is pl placed in right or left lateral relations so to centric occlusion with the maxillary arch. Uh, you can look on this water in uh, working side and working side uh, and uh, medial trusive contacts and lateral trusive contacts. 
uh, the masticated uh, cycle of facilities, uh, the working side shows the buccal cups of maxilla and mandibular teeth uh, to be in contact, the uh, balancing side show contact of lingual cups of the maxilla teeth with the buccal cups of uh, mandible teeth. The both uh, sides uh, move the center occlusion. Uh, you can look on these uh, photos, walking side and balancing side, and you uh, look different uh, without this uh, work. Mm -hmm. Uh, the masticated cycle of anatale teeth is biting the fun uh, uh, functioning side allocated at the anatale teeth, uh, the balancing side at the posterior teeth. Uh, when the two jaw are not is an occlusion, the spice uh, of 2 mm in between the two arches called tres positions produce uh, occlusal uh, relations. Mandible arch uh, bear a forward relation to its centric relations with maxillar arch. Uh, retrusive occlusal relations, mandibular we have posterior relations to centric occlusal with upper arch. Uh, right and left lateral movements are achieved by lateral movement of mandibular when is placed as uh, or L centric occlusion, a masticated cycle of posterior teeth during, during movement, the posterior teeth are not in contact, so they work on side, show buccal cups of marks and mandibular to be in contact. In balance, it side shows contact of uh, lingual cups of max uh, with buccal cups of uh, mandible teeth when uh, come to center occlusions. Uh, this movement is uh, called masticative movement. Uh, I won't uh, finish my lecture because I think uh, today enough uh, for uh, you information about this uh, uh, lecture and about this team. Uh, thank you for your attention uh, and bye-bye.